Hey legend, in this video I wanna share with you how you can improve your Facebook reach, visibility and engagement by understanding how the algorithm works. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Fraser Brooks and I help network marketers from all over the world build their business using social media. And I really hope that I get have the chance to be able to help you too. If you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor, give us a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. Let me know also in the comments, how long have you been using Facebook in particular to build your business and build yourself, build your brand? Okay, so I've been around Facebook my, my to be honest with you, entire time it's been around really. I got started when I was in university and one thing that I absolutely love to do is I love to test and see what actually works. Make some tweaks, test again, make some tweaks, test again. Kind of like what they do in the Formula One, right? They go around the track, they come in the pits, they make some tweaks, they go again and see how they can get faster and faster and faster. So here's the thing. The algorithm is made up of a bunch of different things. And a lot of people will come to me and say, Fraser, how do you know what it's made up of? How do you know what works and not based around the algorithm? You're never truly going to know because the algorithm, the, the way algorithms work is they change so fast that different metrics and different things will result in a different thing. Now, what works for me on social media will be different to what works with you. So here's something you need to really understand. Depending on what your followers are made up on will depend on what they actually will depend on what they actually see. So if you've got Mary who follows you and she likes dogs, she likes travel, she likes food and she likes personal development, when any of the, her followers or any of her friends who she's connected with post on those different things, the likelihood of her seeing it is very high. Now, if she engages on one of those pieces of content, the likelihood of seeing of her seeing another piece of content from that person who she's shown interest in is very, very high. The other end of the spectrum, if she likes dogs, she likes travel, she likes food, and one of the people who she follows posts about cats, the likelihood of, she, of her seeing a post about cats is very, very low. And therefore, if she doesn't engage on it, the likelihood of her seeing more posts from that person is very, very low. So point number one here is you need to build an audience based around the actual content that you create. So if you're creating content around lifestyle, create an audience around who love lifestyle. If you're, create, if you're creating content about travel, create an audience of people who love to travel. If you're creating content around food, create an audience around people who love food, right? You're getting the point. This is where most people go wrong on social media. They post about their holiday, they post about their family, they post about their dogs, they post about the book they're reading, they post about going to the gym, they post, they post about so much that people actually don't know and the algorithm doesn't know what is it that you're actually helping people with so we know what people to put your content in front of? Point number two is the algorithm is moving so fast. So this is what you need to do. I've done this for the last, every single post I've made for the last 10, if not 11 years. And it's been, it's been the reason why I've been able to crack the code and be able to master the Facebook algorithm. And to be honest with you, this works on every single platform. Now, before I share it with you, again, please do me a massive favor, hit the thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and let me know in the comments how, uh, like how long you've been using Facebook and what your biggest challenge is. That way I'm able to do more content about Facebook in particular to be able to help you grow, okay? So here we go. What I do, very, very simple. I have a piece of paper, it's now morphed into a Google Sheet, a Microsoft Excel, whatever platform you prefer to use. You can use pen and paper, you can use spreadsheets, you can use apps. Whenever I make a post, I write what the post is about. So let's, say, and then I'll say what, it, what kind of post it is. So let's say um, three tips on building your network marketing business. Then I'll go platform is Facebook. Feature, Facebook Reel. Time, sorry, date, let's say the 1st of February, 2023. Time, 7.04 p.m. Then I have columns on the number of likes, the number of comments, the number of shares, the number of views, all the data that I can find. So then what I do is I set a timer. This sounds really rigid and militant, but it's so important. You only have to do this. You only have to do this for 30 days, really, but I'm gonna share with you anyway. So I set a timer for 24 hours. When the timer goes off, I go straight onto my phone, I go onto the post and I count how, I, I look at how many likes, how many comments, how many shares and how many views. And I write it on my sheet. Now. I do different types of posts. I do different types of posts at different times on different things. Some with short captions, some with long captions, some with a photo of me, some with a photo of me and my friends, uh, some of me on stage, some of me just a selfie, uh, some lives that are five minutes long, some lives that are 15 minutes long, some lives are in the morning and some lives are in the afternoon, some lives are in the evening. So I've got so much data. And guys, I've been doing this for 10, 11 years now, every single post. So I know exactly what day, what time, 
what kind of content and when I need to post it. So a lot of people come to me, hey Fraser, what's the best time to post? Everyone's different. Everyone's different. What's the best day to post? Everyone's different. What I would say is I've noticed that Friday night and Saturday as well as Sunday morning are significantly worse than Sunday evening all the way till through um, Friday afternoon. So that's how the window I, I usually post Sunday night, uh, Sunday evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then up to Friday afternoon. After that, I kind of leave it alone. All right. So start tracking, understand that you need to first and foremost, build an audience of people that are connected to the content that you create. Then it's only a matter of time. Okay, I use the acronym MATE, the right message in front of the right audience in the right time, at the right time, will get you the engagement that you need. And once you get people engaging once, the likelihood of them engaging twice, three times, four times, five times, 10 times is highly likely. Okay, more likely than if they don't engage. Okay, so always make sure that the posts that you create, this is point number three, in, ensure that the posts that you create are very easy to, for people who are connected with that content to want to be able to be like, I love this content, love heart. Or this is amazing, love heart. Or I really resonate with this, comment. This is amazing, I want my followers to know this, share. I really love this, I'm gonna watch it again. View, view, view. Okay, so go away and take that information. Understand the first and foremost, the MATE acronym, message, right message, right audience, right time, will get you the engagement. And then number two, track every single post you make. Now, I wouldn't necessarily track your stories because you could do 20 stories a day and that's just too much to track. But if you're posting once a day, post once a day for the next 90 days and I guarantee you, you will know exactly what time, what day and what type of post is going to get you the best results. Me personally, I know that if I post a photo of me and Svetlana, it blows up. I know that if I post a photo with short caption, it blows up. I also know that if I post quotes, just words only with one emoji at the end, in the evening, it blows up. How do I know this? Because I've been doing it and testing it for literally the last 10 years, all right? So if you got value from this, I wanna share something really, really cool with you, especially if you love like building your business and branding on social media, it's completely free. Just go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash MLM. All right, fraserbrooks.com forward slash MLM. We'll leave it in the description uh, down below as well. But on that website, you're gonna be able to join a five-day challenge, completely free, five-day challenge. It's gonna walk you through how to build your network marketing business and your brand that's gonna support your business in a really fun, bite-sized, easy to follow way. We've had almost 20,000 people go through this bootcamp and complete it. And already we're seeing huge changes in brands being built all over the world. So I look forward to seeing you on that. If you haven't already done so, give us a thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and I really hope to see you on future videos and see you in the comments section so I can engage with you. All right, big love, kisses, ciao, bye-bye.